Hey folks, Damien with Best Care. The purpose of this video is to help you troubleshoot your Style 2 Best Care Electronics. So we talked about Style 2 before. You remember that it has a control box. Looks like this. If everything was hooked up and functioning properly, on your lift, we'd hit the up button, motor would go up, down button, and motor would go down. So let's break down each of these individual components and talk about some of the ways to troubleshoot them. And let's start with the battery. As you know, the Style 2 Electronics has a removable battery. The battery does have a, a gauge on it that you can push to tell you how much power is in the battery. Of course, the best reading would be with the gauge showing all four bars. You can see this has two bars, so it's a little low. At the bottom of the battery, there's two tabs. Those tabs are actually, actually making contact with the control box. That's how power is going to the lift. So the connection between those tabs is really important for us to get power to the actuator and make the control box run the lift. Now, what if our battery isn't working? What if there's, there's some reason there's a problem? Well, when you push this button and get a reading, that doesn't necessarily mean that the battery has the power to run the lift. The only way you can truly test the battery is by putting the battery under a load of some sort and seeing if the battery maintains 24 volts when you're running under load. So it's a good indication to see when the lights are lit up, but if you put the system together and try and run it and the lift makes some beeping noises, still doesn't go up and down, I would advise that you take the battery to a qualified technician somewhere that could put it under load and test it because the batteries are probably the number one reason the lift stopped working. So let's assume we got a good battery. We're going to connect it to the control box. And you can see inside the control box we got a couple of metal tabs. That's what the battery is going to rest against when we put it together. And you should hear a little snapping noise when you click the battery into the control box because that connection is really important. So everything's connected and now you can see that on the display we have a symbol of a battery showing how much power is in the battery. That's a good indication that we're making a good connection between the control box and the battery. And you also see a green light, meaning that the battery is connected. So what happens if all that is connected and we go to run the lift with the hand control and it still doesn't go up and down? Well at that point I would advise that we go to the auxiliary switches that are on the control box to see if those run the lift up and down. And if they do, then you got a bad hand control. Hand controls are probably the second main reason the lifts fail, because they do get dropped and the cords get broken. Now, let's say we got a brand new lift, we're putting everything together, and we can't get the lift to run, just straight out of the box. What could be the problem? The two things that I would check right off the bat would be, does the battery connected properly to show that we have power? And is the actuator cable plugged in to the control box properly and snugly? There's many times where this isn't plugged in all the way, nothing will work on your lift. So that is another important thing to check when you're assembling your lift. And since we're on the uh, bottom of the uh, control box describing some of those features, you can kind of see that there's three different sets of holes here and a hole on the side at the bottom of the control box. Well, of course, one's for the hand control, one's for the actuator. This one is used for nothing. It's blank on this system. And then the last one is for the charging cord. Style 2 Electronics allows you to plug the lift in and charge it. So we have a special cord that plugs in to the control box and then plugs into the wall. So your lift straight out of the box can charge by just plugging it into the wall and charging up the system. I brought a wall mounted charger to show you. This is what that looks like if you decided to buy that and how it would mount on the wall. Just hang it up and the battery slips into it just like the control box. The same charging cable that's used to charge the lift would plug into the bottom of the wall charger to charge your secondary battery. So now, hopefully you have a better idea how to troubleshoot your Style 2 electronics.